Okay, good morning guys. Um, hope you appreciate what I'm doing for you. Uh, woke up at five and I'm now walking across to Patrick White Lawns, which is near the National Library to watch the balloons inflate for just to see all the balloons inflate because there's a bunch of balloons going up for the next week or so and I thought I'd get out for the first day and, it, and just watch them, film them for you guys and then this evening check out Enlighten um, but yeah should be a pretty good morning um, it's not too cold, not too hot so far but it's meant to be a pretty warm one but yeah it's always a great fun watching these balloons because you'll see people chase them for the whole morning including to watch them um, they'll drive after them it's pretty epic and it's over the lake so at sunrise so it should be pretty awesome but yeah hope you enjoy today's vlog guys Okay, now tell me that isn't awesome. Uh, balloon spectacular. All the balloons. More balloons. But yeah, always a great thing to come to. Still walking around the lake, trying to see the other ones and hopefully get some good photos as well. Okay, so now it's time to head. Try and ch 
beat the beat the balloon to see how I breed him. Uh, still a couple going off now. But yeah, we'll try and beat some of them so we can get a view over Canberra from the Arboretum and then go from there. Sorry about the out of breathness. <sighs> Up at the top of Dairy Farmers Hill at the Arboretum. The sunrise looks pretty good. And I think balloons are still up, which is another positive. Yeah. Okay, breakfast time. Um, not sure where I'll go, but obviously it's got to match today because the day was pretty epic. Have a look at this. Getting flyby'd by some paragliders. Or, yeah, paragliders. No, not paragliders, paramotors. Okay, breakfast time. I'm gonna try Bloom Cafe, I think. Never been there, but heard pretty good things about it. Um, so yeah, grabbing breakfast and probably a drink. Okay, guess we're not trying it, as you can see. They're closed this long weekend, so I guess I'm gonna have to walk around and try and find somewhere else. Ah, <laughs> oh, this always seems to happen to me. Oh well, let's go. Hey, hey, looks like I'll be going to Space Kitchen instead. It's pretty, pretty fancy breakfast, so, and out there, so we'll see how, see how it goes. Not gonna lie, I feel like I'm gonna explode after that. The thing was massive. I ate like three quarters of it, and that was still too much, but it's essentially an iced Vovo um, kind of brioche waffle. Very interesting. Not as expensive as I thought it was gonna be. But yeah, big, relatively big breakfast. No, definitely a big breakfast. And now, just gonna head home chill for a bit, edit, um, well not edit, but finish uploading this week's video, uh, and then from there, get ready for Enlighten tonight, so overall, yeah, breakfast is all done, which is great, but yeah, let's go. Okay, time for part two of today, uh, I spent most of today when I got home from breakfast, um, finishing the edit and uploading it, getting ready for the upload tomorrow. Uh, did some housework and stuff. Walked the dog and now heading off to Enlighten. Hopefully it's not ultra busy, but my guess is it's gonna be pretty hectic. Um, but first I think I'm gonna fly my drone 
um, possibly near the Carillion. I'm not too sure. I'll have a look. Okay, so the Carillion didn't really work out. I forgot that the walkway over to it's closed. So we're back where some of the balloons launched this morning. Some of the last ones you would have seen. Uh, hopefully find a quiet spot so I can take off. But yeah. Okay, so the unfortunate thing about owning a drone, especially in Canberra, but also in parts of Australia, is there's very limited places to fly. And if you do find places to fly, typically you'll have people watch you, interact with you, and it gets very annoying. So, because you're breaking the rules essentially. So got a couple of, I think I maybe got one shot in about 10, 15 minutes of flying, um, which I'll include now. I'm gonna walk through spiderwebs. Um, but yeah, now just gonna drop the drone off. Well, not drop the drone off, but uh, go back to the car and then walk over to Enlighten, which is just over the road there. Well, this just feels like this morning. I'm literally walking up, parked nearly in the same spot and I'm walking up the same street, so I think it's the same street. I feel like a bit of an idiot. <laughs> um, but yeah, heading to Enlighten, so it's a kind of a big light show. It's projected on pretty sure, pretty much all of the buildings in the National Triangle, Parliamentary Triangle. Um, also food festival in there as well. So probably get some food and have a look at the lights, which would be pretty awesome brilliant weather for it. I think it's about 30 degrees still, which for Enlighten is pretty, not rare, but normally it's a lot colder. But yeah, let's go, go explore Enlighten. Okay, so had some snacks, well, had dinner, which was like a, a vegan gyros, which was really, really good. Never expected to be that good and then had some coconut crepes which were actually pretty good it kind of worked really well together but now walking up to new parliament house hopefully see the first illuminations there then make my way down back to lakeside so yeah let's keep walking thing I will say is never in I think the 18 years that I've lived in Canberra I've never actually been in um, new parliament house I've been in old parliament house a couple of times with school but yeah never never new parliament house Okay, so that was the Parliament House illumination. It's not that great because it's kind of separated, but then now we go to Old Parliament House, which to me it's a lot better because it's just one big, one big display. So yeah, let's head down to Old Parliament House now.
Okay, all done for today. What a great day of adventure. Well, kind of adventure. Um, more so just exploring the city uh, in a different way. Um, hope you all enjoyed today's vlog. Uh, something a bit different around my hometown. Um, exploring one of the, the festivals that are on this year. Um, and most years. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Um, catch you... In the next one, which I'm not, a, I haven't actually planned what what's up next. Um, yeah, I guess you'll find out when when I kind of work out what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, hope you all have a great great weekend, great day, um, and yeah, catch you later. See ya.